what is going on welcome back to financial journey so today i want to do more of a different video only because i actually do get quite a lot of comments on what website do i use and everything so i'm going to go over exactly the websites that i do use and just some general info before i get into any of that uh, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and with that let's get right to it so you might want to save and favor a lot of these websites I like to use it. Um, obviously, if you guys watch my channel, it's very easy to follow along. And yeah, so starting off, I always start my videos with this. So this is Trading View. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know this. I have the free version of this. I think it gives you like three or four different uh, indicators that you can have. Aside from that, I think you have to pay, but um, I think it gives you a good overview of uh, pretty much that. Same goes for trading view near the tail end of my videos. I always go over the fib levels right here. So good support and resistance points. I like using this because it's very visual, very easy to follow. There is other websites that are out there such as barchart.com. And in general, yeah, it does the exact same thing. But I think for a newer investor, this is very overwhelming, kind of a lot. And I feel like when I've shown this in the video, like I, I talk generally fast on a side note, but I think this does confuse a lot of individuals. So once again, uh, trading view has all of this information up top here. Uh, you just click on, I have micro cloud hologram right up right here, uh, the ticker and under technicals. And so, yeah, uh, pretty much uh, pretty straightforward. One day is very strong support and resistance points. And then kind of the lower you go, the not strong. So again, just a quick perspective on that. I, I always like to use investing.com just for this. Very easy to very visual, nice green, nice red. Um, if you ever have any questions as well, you can kind of just click it. Gives you a good overview and explanation of what it is, what higher means, what lower means, what that uh, is bullish, bearish. Sometimes it's hard to tell in the broader market because something might be bullish, but in reality, it might be negative only because we care so much about rate cuts and monetary policy. So. This website is cmegroup.com. And I'll try to put all of this in the description below so you guys can just easily uh, look at it, but it goes over uh, targets. Uh, so whether it be cuts or increases or just maintains for future Fed meetings. So I brought that up uh, time and time again. And yeah, pretty much I really like that. A couple other ones I like to use is Seeking Alpha. So this one you do have to pay for. I do have a seven day free trial for you guys. If you are curious, I'll put that in the description below. But at first, uh, like again, I'm sure you guys can tell I'm all about efficiency and everything here screams efficiency. So you have the SEC filings, you have press releases, you have transcripts from previous earnings, fireside chats, related analysis, if you want to know about earnings, past earnings, future earnings, estimates, quarterly charts, if a company has ever done reverse stock split, this has everything. You can probably spend like a full couple days just going over everything. Plus, this does have a good charting uh, tool as well. And as well, it gives you the latest in news, trending news. So you can kind of just wake up and look at this. And a lot of this, uh, some of my videos under my other channel, stem from here, seasonality top win rates. So for instance, in November, you already see a couple ones that have historical um, good success, right? So 100% success, um, for instance, Broadcom and whatever for November. So there's a lot of good, good information that you can use, whether you are a quantitative investor so you rely more on the numbers or momentum it has everything that you do need so this one is seekingalpha.com um, so yeah i like that once again i'm going to go over everything so this one's pretty straightforward so this is the fear and greed index it is on cnn's website so cnn.com pretty straightforward stuff uh, so greed category right now so it shows people's appetite for risk is essentially increasing this is fintel fintel i don't really look up all the time only because i primarily use ibkr now so interactive brokers i uh, love using them it has all free analyst ratings has that elite wave to um, technicals has 
rating changes, Morningstar reports, latest in news news. So sometimes a lot of places they like to only bring up like relevant news. Like for instance, going back over here, sorry, over here. So trading view, if you click on news, it brings up usually just Bazinga, um, these general ones, which aren't the best in my opinion, whereas uh, IBKR brings up everything. So I have a link to them in the description below if you are wanting that. Uh, it is completely free. So if you want free analyst ratings, technicals, again, a lot of the data points and whatever I use in a video, I uh, like to look at. And IBKR, how I went on that tangent is because of kind of eliminates that. They have it in an easier format than this. Although if someone just wants to just see red, green, very simple stuff, then this this is sufficient. So shows 13 Fs, disclosures to the SEC. Fintel is actually so much more than that though. It has a lot of information. I don't really like to use them all that much because like I said, I have other kind of platforms that cover this exact thing. A couple other things though, on occasion you'll see me bring up this. So this is just uh, money markets, it shows kind of the levels, if there's any trends starting, if there's any rotations. So this is financialresearch.gov. And so yeah, this is only updated once a month. So you don't really see that much in updates from this. Although this, which is ICI.org, this shows on a weekly basis any change. I haven't actually brought this up yet, so I was probably gonna incorporate it in my weekend videos, but as of October the 10th, you had still 11.26 billion increase. So that does mean that 11.26 billion left equities to go to um, money markets. So still shows a level of fear in the broader market. So again, there's that information. On occasion, uh, I don't really bring this website up all that much, but I really do like it. It's very easy to follow. Um, if you're looking for multiples, I usually bring this up on my Neo videos just to compare uh, like apples to apples or whatever, like PS ratios. And so this is Coifin. Um, so I'll, again, I have links to all this in the description below. And for the most part, everything with the exception of this one that I've brought up right now is completely free and except seeking alpha, but you have a seven day free trial. This one also you do have to pay. It is Ortex. Um, I like to really use this, it has a lot of good information. So let's pull up Lucid for instance, or Neo, whatever it shows the percentage of the free float being shorted, number of shares being overall shorted, the change from that day, cost to borrow has a lot of good information, live short interest, so it kind of shows exactly what did happen in the day, um, short availability, more than enough information. And usually just on my videos, you'll see me bringing up shorts, but similar nature, there's a lot of other good data up here that, yeah, it's, you can always use as well. So trading signals, analysis, uh, or um, ratings, stock scores, signals. So for instance, Lucid. Um, the only bad thing on a side note, Ortex sometimes is slow. So it is a little bit frustrating sometimes, but it is what it is. Um, aside from that though, there's this. So this is chartexchange.com. Um, so this is good to kind of go over, for instance, let's pull up uh, Lucid once again. So let's pull up Lucid. Nope, don't need that. So yeah, you can always see the short interest, short volume, borrow. You can look up trends, exchange. So if you're ever looking at for instance, to see uh, the percentage off exchange. So today there was roughly about 60% uh, of Lucid was off exchange. So that's not good uh, at all in reality. It shows a lot of suppression and whatever. But anyways, I'm not here to talk on that. Um, aside from that, this website is free. You have unusual whales. You do have to pay for this. Uh, I have an affiliate with them, so I get a little bit of a deal, but still, um, this one is a good one for a lot of things. So I really do push options activity quite a lot. This one is all about options. A lot of people literally rely on this website. And so yeah, this one in a general video, I bring up this shows overall dollar values. This one right here shows just calls, puts, open interest, but still 
over here there's a overwhelming amount of information so what i'll do is i'll just open up a new one so you guys can play around so it has like the feed of everything so you can click on exactly like there's just too too much information and on occasion you'll actually see me bring this website up for insider trading and so for instance let's pull up sofi shows all the recent transactions so last ones the trade date the amount you can click on the individual as well it shows all of their transactions uh, in the past has yeah a lot of good information and same goes for unusual whales it also does bring up um activity on the secondary market and also the dark pool so it's good to kind of show that and just uh, see what big money is doing because i think in my opinion it is sometimes wise to follow what big money does because based on my experience you do see a lot of abnormal transactions which insinuate somebody is buying because you can always tell the based on the bid the ask and uh, right here who whether they're buys or sells but when it comes down to it though a couple weeks later then you start to see rating changes in the positive so what big money likes to do is they like to buy and then they say hey let's raise the rating let's put out a bunch of news saying that this is a buy after they do it like it's it's common sense so you can always be one step ahead and bring this up and so once again uh, all of this is good tools that you can use none of this is a surefire crystal ball so just be kind of aware of that um, aside from that though like i said i usually cap it all off with this right here so the technical is going over fib level so this is tradingview.com and then i usually end it off with this right here so unusual whales i really like this so i use theirs because you can have unlimited um, indicators whereas under here which is trading view is a little bit more appealing on trading view but you have only a limit of three unless you pay for it which i'm not really sure of how much it costs or whatever but i, I like uh, unusual whales or even better yet if you want to open up ibkr that one it blows everything out of the water um so i really like to use technicals of course and that's what one of the big indicators that i like to use in general but yeah this is all in all hopefully not a boring video for you guys but this is all the websites i generally use and then of course you have uh, twitter and many other places to rely on information so for instance this right here random post you see kathy wood's transaction so if i'm doing a robin hood or like moderna video then yeah you can bring that up but um, generally this is uh, if you're looking to better yourself as investors a good place to start so might be a little bit more of a boring video my apologies on that but um, i have been getting a lot of comments just on what like websites i use so all in all let me know your guys thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that and if you do like my channel and want to support the growth i did launch memberships a lot of different levels as well so if you're really liking the channel and the content then uh, consider joining as a member but with all that appreciate all of you guys watching